So is this the morning you kick off your official holiday shopping? It is Black Friday, and retailers everywhere are trying to lure Canadians in with deals. You might, though, end up wanting to hold off a couple of weeks on a lot of holiday essentials because MPs just passed the Liberal GST tax break. Nays cool, 176, sans 76, nays compte, 151, sans 50. Je déclare la motion adoptée. I declare the motion carried. The vote finally went through late last night. It was, in fact, near midnight. The NDP voted with the Liberals in favour of the bill. The Conservatives in the Bloc Québécois voted against. It moves to the Senate next. The GST break is set to begin December 14th and wrap up right after another busy consumer holiday, Valentine's Day. It covers things like children's toys, clothes, diapers, snacks, beer and wine, even Christmas trees. Let's bring in Janice McGregor, who's live in our Parliamentary Bureau, who's going to tell us what happened. I think it was 1124, to be precise, uh, what happened at that time, Janice, and what happens next. Yeah, and kudos to our colleagues that stayed up and took notes for me. I did not stay up that late knowing I had to get up this morning. Um, there were a number of attempts, though, by the Bloc and the Conservatives to delay uh, this debate. To, this was a very temporary return uh, to government business in the House of Commons to pass this very limited bill. Of course, the House of Commons hasn't been able to do any government business for a couple of months now. So this is extraordinary, even just for that reason alone. But to get to the main debate, eventually, uh, late last night, uh, they did need the help of the New Democrats. Um, I have no definitive word on how many MPs uh, were voting uh, remotely in their pajamas. Um, we didn't see too many uh, in the shots of the actual House. Um, but New Democrats did come through, even though they made it clear that this GST tax holiday was not uh, being put on all the right things in their opinion. They had proposed a permanent GST relief scheme that would have applied to other services, home heating bills, cell phones as well. They did not get that. Nevertheless, they still voted yay. Uh, here is MP Alexandre Boulris earlier in the day, uh, trying to make it clear that their motives here were understood. We would have done it differently for in, in permanent base. The two months is a little bit short. Uh, but, you know, uh, we got something that will help, uh, you know, middle class and workers. So, of course, we're going to support it. We support the measure, not the Liberals. Now, him saying that wasn't enough to stop the Conservatives from portraying this as the Liberals and the NDP getting their coalition band back together, even though Conservative MPs, if you go back to the 2021 election under their previous leader, they too had run on the idea of it being a, a good little boost for people to have a GST tax holiday. Pierre Polyev now, though, says that this kind of temporary reprieve for consumers' wallets right now could be inflationary at what is a very delicate time uh, for this economy. He also said it's a move that smacks of desperation for a prime minister whose public opinion polls have nosedived. Now is the, the worst possible time to be blowing $6 billion trying to save Justin Trudeau's political skin, especially with the threats coming from the United States, with our border in chaos, our economy collapsing, and everything broken. The Bloc Québécois did not like the way this was rushed. They did temporarily try and get an amendment to send this to committee so they could grill the minister about what they were trying to do here. That failed. In the end, the Bloc II opposed what they called a GST holiday on champagne, said it was a very poorly targeted way of delivering financial help. Look, for everyone skeptical that anything at all could be done in the Commons this fall, uh, this uh, is a bit of a win. So cheers to that. But Liberals had to sacrifice the other part of their GST relief plan, those $250 rebate checks in order to pull this off in time for last minute holiday shoppers. The NDP say that they want more people like seniors, for example, to be included in the check rollout. That's going to be really expensive. The Liberals say they've already helped seniors in other ways. They were trying to do something for a different group of people with this move. Until they sort all that out, they don't have the support to pass parliamentary authority for the checks. So at this point, it looks like the checks might be delivered more maybe by the Easter Bunny as opposed to Santa. <laughs> okay, Janice, thank you very much.